Hey guys, Niagara with TFP here, and I'm with my best bud, Dad TFP! And we have something super cool to share with you today. What is it? Oh, OMG, is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's a 50th anniversary Rubik's Cube. Wait a second, so is this the same design as the Rubik's Cube that debuted 50 years ago and took the world by storm? Yeah, this is the same design as the original Rubik's Cube. And you can see it has the old looking logo right here. That's pretty cool. And in fact, one of the packagings actually look like this. So this is almost, the packaging is almost the same as it was 50 years ago as well, huh? Yeah, and you can see this packaging is very awesome. You can see you can see the Rubik's Cube from all angles right here. I like that, yeah. That's different from the new packaging. This is from a 4x4 cube, so you can see that you have to remove everything to remove it. It's very hard to move this. Whereas in here, it's very easy to remove everything. That's cool. And yeah, I like that. And you see it has 50 years on there. And also, which makes sense because the Rubik's Cube was invented in 1974. Now, you know, I heard 1974 may be one of the most important years in the history of the world. Have you heard that too? Yeah, I've heard that. 1974 is one of the best years ever. Yeah, so, super the best year. Yeah, so it makes... So it makes sense why the Rubik's Cube was invented in 1974, making it a very iconic thing. So That's you right. see that, so you can see it has a 50 years in gold right here. And in here, there's a gold face right here. Normally, yellow would be on this face because if you look here, there's a cube from the same angle. So in here, it would normally be yellow, but this time it's gold, representing oh. the 50 years. That's kind of cool. So they changed up the yellow portion to reflect the 50 years. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but the hard part, to opening this is that this sticker runs through the entire bottom. Ugh. So, off camera, we're going to remove this whole thing right here, and we're going to see you later. So there we go. You can see that we removed this whole thing right here, and all right. So yeah, we got that. so uh, that's cool. And I, I like how the sticker comes off nice and cleanly. That's cool. Yeah. So we can save it and put it back on the on the case when we're. Done taking it out, right? Yeah, so you can see it has a gold reflection through here. It says Rubik's Cube in the old style, not like the new style as you see right here. You can see you can see this original you can see this is a new colored version, whereas this is the old more I guess iconic version of the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, it's right? a yeah, it's way more iconic. So you can see that it says Rubik's Cube three times. But we're here for the cube. Oh, so it's yeah, that's what you, that's that's what's awesome about this packaging in particular because you can just remove this and you can and you have your cube. Whereas awesome. in here you just you have to remove everything to remove the cube. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this thing looks. So here is the, so here is the yellow face as you can see here. It says Rubik's cube in the old look. I like it. Yeah, old iconic lettering. Yeah. And then here is the other sides. So mechanically, it is uh, designed the same as it was 50 years ago, right? So I wonder how it feels compared to the newer cubes. Let's see. And the ITP is going to turn, do the first turns on this Rubik's Cube. Oh my, so exciting. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, do the checkable pattern. Do the checkable pattern. I like it, yep. First you do a... Uh, Swoopity swoop. Actually, you do this uh, two times. Oh. <laughs> Oh, um, can I, can I fix this for you? Let's see. So, so you actually do it like this. And then you can... You... Oh, I love it! Nice job! Where'd you learn that? I think you might have watched an awesome video to learn how to make that. Yeah, I found this guy called DadTFP. Have you ever heard of him? I heard of him, of course. He's iconic. Yeah, you can see the gold reflection through here. So you can see there's the camera in the middle here. You can see how reflective it is. It's very reflective. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of cool. And it moves definitely moves different than the than the current modern cubes, right? Yeah, here's a speed cube. And you can see how fast this is. It's so fast. Whereas in this one, you have to turn very slowly. And you have to do wrist turns. Yeah, that's right. And it's kind of, a, and it makes sense because when the Rubik's Cube first came out, it was a pretty tough puzzle and not many people could solve it. Where now people have a strategy to solve it and... Yeah, there are YouTube videos online on how to solve it. And now people can solve a Rubik's Cube in, you know, what, like less than 90 seconds? 
Actually, less than... Actually, someone solved it in 3.13 seconds. That's pretty... He must be very good at, at Rubik's Cube. And I know uh, th I know one guy who's really good at like doing the checkerboard pattern, and he could solve the checkerboard pattern in less than 90 seconds. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. So, you want to do the checkerboard pattern here to show how to do the checkerboard pattern? All right, let's see it. Be First like you do boopity poop. Then you do swoopity swoop. And then you do doopity doop. And that's how you make the checkerboard pattern. Woohoo! Yeah, this is what the, this is one of the old cubes. This is from, this is what it looks like in 1974. I love it. Very what, do you th what do you think of that year though? I love it. That's a really cool year. A lot of awesome things invented that year. Yeah, including the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. So, and without the Rubik's Cube, there will be no Rubik's Squishy Cube. That's my first video. And also, there would not be any checkerboard pattern video if there was not an actual Squishy Cube. Or, or not an actual Rubik's Cube. That's right. And, you know, I think there's something, uh, I think that the Squishy Tube video is pretty iconic. And we have something coming up in a couple months on that, right? Yeah. So, it's actually 22 days. Today's 22 days until the four anniversary of that video. And you can see that it's, yesterday there was a 23 days post. Oh, nice. And on those community posts, there are videos that are made in those years. And you can see that there's so many videos. And then here is the Rubik's Cube logo, if you want to see. Awesome. Well, this is a very cool cube. I love it. Looking forward to trying to scramble it and solve it, right? Yeah. So you can see it says 50 years on there. And then here is the original Rubik's Cube logo. Pretty cool. What do you think of the different logo? Here's a here's the here's the old logo and here's a new logo. Yeah, uh, I guess I like the old one. I like the classic logo. Yeah, the classic logo it looks way better. Well, this one is just colorful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so this one has the old italic look, and then cubes like bold. Yeah, that's true. And and then here's the 50 years. You can see that the zero is a cube on its side here. And then and then here's the thing that goes around it. So it says Rubik's Cube a lot. Yep, very cool. Love it. Anyways, that's it for this really awesome video. Cool. Thanks for, Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. And like the video and comment down below. And anyways, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.